Japanese company donates handheld translation devices to Ukrainian refugees. An innovative electronics firm in Tokyo, Japan, called Pocket Talk Corp, makes a small unit that can translate 82 languages. The Pocket Talk is similar in appearance to a smartphone and easy to operate. Users simply push a button while speaking, and the device translates what they have said into a chosen language and displays it on the screen. It can also play the translation out loud. The Ukrainian embassy in Japan received 1,000 translator units from Pocket Talk for distribution to Ukrainian refugee families in the country. A further 300 devices were given to displaced individuals in Poland. Such a good idea, Pocket Talk Corp, to help our Ukrainian sisters and brothers overcome communication challenges. May they soon be able to return to their beloved homeland in God's benevolence. British researchers find severe COVID-19 causes cognitive impairment. Scientists from the Imperial College London and the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom recently performed a study on 46 people who had been hospitalized for COVID. The study found that they had experienced the equivalent of the cognitive impairment of aging occurring between 50 and 70 years of age or a 10-point reduction in IQ. The patients were tested on average six months after their hospital stay. Some who were followed up to 10 months later showed a slight improvement in their mental processes. The researchers concluded that any recovery in cognitive faculties is at best likely to be slow. Thank you scientists from the Imperial College London and the University of Cambridge for highlighting one of the possible damaging long-term side effects of COVID-19. In the light of the providence, may the citizens of the world quickly switch to a vegan diet to ensure an end to the current pandemic and a future of good health and peace. Australian Aboriginals use lullabies to teach younger generation their ancient language. The Noongar people of Western Australia have been using lullabies and songs to introduce community members to their indigenous language. The Noongar Lullabies program was first launched in 2017 by the Community Arts Network and has since held classes in Kali, Midvale, Bunbury, Mandra, and recently Northam. The sessions start by teaching vowels and pronunciation and then chants and sing-alongs. An intercultural lullaby songbook has been created as a celebration of diversity, with community groups in Mandra learning Noongar lullabies and translating them into a number of languages, reflecting the unique heritage of the area. Great news, Western Australian Aboriginal communities, on your classes to ensure your beautiful language continues to be spoken. In the grace of heaven, may the ancient knowledge and wisdom of the Aboriginal people continue to be passed from generation to generation as we learn from their beautiful traditions. French startup developing streetlights made from naturally glowing organisms. Biotechnology company Glowy is creating streetlights from a marine bacteria that naturally glows by consuming oxygen and does not use electricity. The bacteria were harvested from the coast of the nation and are placed within small tubes which contain nutrients in liquid. When oxygen is allowed to circulate within the tubes, the organisms glow with around 15 lumens, a measure of the amount of light coming from a bulb, or one quarter of the power of conventional street light. Currently, the technology is being trialed in the town of Rambouille, France, and the company has 40 city lighting projects starting across Europe. Impressive work, Chloe, on your innovative new lights that create a peaceful ambience. In divine elegance, may our societies continue to move closer to nature as we live harmoniously with all beings on our planet. Marathoner and cancer survivor sets new world record. Jackie Hunt Breishma, an amputee athlete, broke a record on April 30, 2022, by running 104 marathons in 104 days using a carbon fiber prosthesis. This accomplishment should soon be certified by Guinness World Records. Since mid-January, the mother of two ran a 42.2-kilometer marathon every day, either on a course near her home in Gilbert, Arizona, USA, or on an indoor treadmill. 
Her journey has gained attention and inspired people worldwide due to her special circumstances. In 2002, the then 26-year-old Miss Hunt Broishma was diagnosed with a rare bone cancer called Ewing's sarcoma. To save her life, her left leg below the knee had to be amputated. Since her running career, she has received several awards and raised more than 67,000 US dollars to help other amputee runners receive needed prostheses. Way to go, Miss Jackie Hunt Broishma. May God bless your inspirational life that shows how we can exceed physical limitations and fulfill our dreams. Delectable ready to eat vegan meals launched in Singapore. Plant based alternative protein manufacturer Hoshe Food has released a range of vegan convenience meals, including its very popular crispy fried chicken made with tofu and seasoned with herbs and spices, and teriyaki unagi featuring grizzled vegan teriyaki sauce. These tasty items are available at cafes, restaurants, ramen stalls, caterers, and in local outlets such as Jollibean Vegan, V3, Tonichi Sukemen, and Southwest at Bungol. Hoshe Food seeks to provide more ethical and sustainable meal options to fulfill its mission to benefit the health of people, the environment, and the welfare of animal persons. Way to go, Hoshe Food, in assisting our beautiful planet and co-citizens with compassionate vegan products. In celestial upliftment, may the smart individuals of Singapore always choose the plant-based diet the best way for both themselves and the earth. Online veterinarian service helps individuals care for animal people companions. As there was a great increase in the number of people adopting furry friends during the pandemic, the demand for veterinary services in Canada also surged. One way that caregivers can get their beloved companions seen by a vet is through telemedicine, using video, voice, or text chat, which allows patients to be examined in the comfort of their own home. One such company, Fetster, which debuted after the start of the pandemic, allows animal persons the opportunity to be seen online 24-7 by a network of North American and United Kingdom veterinarians, which caregivers can select from. Attesting to the popularity of online vet consultations, Tribalscale, a Toronto-based software company, is providing four virtual animal people vet visits a year as a wonderful employee benefit. We praise your great service, Fetster, and laud your good move, Tribalscale. May we keep finding innovative and practical ways to take good care of our dear animal friends in heaven's delight.